everyone. Welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new, thank you so much for joining us. My name is Melinda and I am a part-time reseller on Poshmark, Mercari, and eBay. My username on those platforms, along with Instagram, is tailored and teal, and I will put all of the links in the description below so that you can reach out and say hi. Um, if you follow me on Poshmark, I'll follow you back. Same thing with Instagram. Um, just if you do follow me on Instagram, please just send me a message and say, hey, I saw your video. I'm just following you. I would love to know um, who comes from this essentially. So I'd love to have you as a follower on there. And thank you so much for subscribing if you do so. So today we have a what sold video. This is from dates of November 16th through the 30th. And my sales were kind of but I'll tell you why. So I was out of town for four days. Um, I think it was like Wednesday through Saturday. So I put my handling time on eBay to five business days instead of my normal one business day. And I put a shipping delay sign on Poshmark explaining that anything that's sold from this date to this date will be shipped out on this date, which happened to be that following Monday. I also didn't share my closet. I also didn't list new things. Honestly, I really wasn't active because I was at home, um, well, at home, my childhood home, um, being with family and spending time with them. So I really didn't feel like I needed to be on those platforms and to make money. However, I did make sales, so that was great. One thing I did with eBay is that I ran a 20% off sale. I believe that that was before I went on vacation. Uh, just because it seems like my eBay sales since the whole glitch gate thing has just really tanked. So I'm trying to boost up anything to get more business and sales in there. So as always, we're going to start with Mercari. I had two little sales on Mercari from the date of November 16th through the 30th. First was a pair of Express Black Ponte pants. I'm probably saying that wrong, but so pointy, ponte, ponte uh, pants. Um, they're basically like a, a fitted pant that kind of feels like a thicker legging almost. Um, and they sold for $14. And then the other thing I had on Mercari is a pair of Soul Society Marigold Gray Studded Flats. These things were super cute. And they sold for $19. And my average sales price, because I had two sales was $16.50. I paid $3.30 in fees because it's 10% on Mercari. I paid no shipping and my total for Mercari for those two items was $29.70. Then we'll move on over to Poshmark. Like I said, there were a few days where I didn't do anything to Poshmark. I occasionally would do some community shares, but that was about it. So um, first up on, I have my iPad over here. So if you see me going this way, that's why. So first up we have a Crayola Make Your Own Paint Pour Canvas Art Kit. This was actually part of a customer returns liquidation lot and it was taped up, but it was never used. So I think it might've came out of its original plastic packaging and then they just wrapped it up. Um, I actually lost money off of this, but that's okay because I was just willing to get it out. I knew someone would really like it for Christmas, for their kids or activities or something. So it did sell for only $8, but I'm okay with that. Next up, we have a pair of Nicole Miller Tropical Floral High Heels. These were beautiful. However, they were a little bit bigger than the size seven and a half that was listed in the shoe. I wear a seven and a half and these definitely fit more like an eight, eight and a half. So I did list that in the listing and they sold for $17. Also, I, I'm trying to think when I did that, there was like, that's what it was. Okay, now I remember. So the like November 15th, cause I think I was trying to make as many sales as I could. I sent out like 30% off with discounted shipping. So that, the Crayola lot, um, canvas lot, and then Nicole Miller shoes was from that. So I sent a lower offer and gave shipping discounts. Also the next item, Fashion Bug Brown Laser Cut Faux Leather Mules. These were given to me for free to resell and they were part of that 
30% offers that I sent out. So they sold for $8. Also a size seven and a half. Must be popular. All right, and then we have an Athleta Space Dye Charcoal Fastest Track shirt. is a size extra large from one of my recent hauls, athletic hauls that I put on my channel. It sold for $14. And uh, I got feedback from the girl who bought it and she said that she loves it and it was exactly what she wanted. So always love to hear the positive feedback or negative feedback, but I don't really get negative feedback. And if I do, no one, they don't, tell me. So um, I'm assuming I'm doing everything right. Fingers crossed. Next, we have a marbled turquoise teardrop dangle earrings. These were my personal earrings. I never wore them. They were given to me for a Christmas gift. Uh, they just were a little bit too long and too heavy for me. And what's really funny about the sale is that they actually went to the next town over for me. So they paid $6.79 to ship it two miles away. But I thought it was really cool to see a local town and everyone everywhere is on Poshmark. So that was really neat. Next up is an Akinney gray knitted dolman sleeve sweater hoodie. This sold for $15. I also got feedback from this and she said she loved it and super comfortable or something like that. So I almost kept it for myself, but I didn't like the way it looked at me, but I'm glad that it went to a great home. Next up is a Torrid Purple Acid Wash Zip Up Short Sleeve Hoodie. This sold for $16 and um, I got this at a rummage sale. That's right. So it was kind of an older style of Torrid, but it did sell relatively quickly within a few weeks. So that made me happy. This next sale was a new, with, new without tags BCBG Max Azria Francine Chevron Lace Peplum Top. Talk about keywords, huh? Uh, this thing was gorgeous and it was a size large, which I usually don't find BCBGs in larger sizes. And I think I listed it for $50 because it's, um, let me see if I put it in there. The original retail price was $138. So I did list it for a little bit higher at 50 and someone sent me an offer for 30 within a day or two of listing and I accepted. Then we have a new without tag, Cynthia Rowley black pleated full midi, midi skirt. This sold for $16 and it had pockets, which was really neat too. Then we have a pair of Lucky Brand Lolita skinny dark wash denim, denim jeans. So these next couple of sales, um, I was trying to sell as much as I could. <laughs> it was actually Thanksgiving day and I sent out a whole bunch of like 50% off with shipping discounts. So these originally were listed, I believe for 35 and I sent out an offer of 18 and someone accepted. Next we have a Banana Republic Jacquard Jacquard. Uh, I've heard a lot of people say it different ways. I'm not exactly sure how to say that. Slim Fit Tuxedo Pants. These sold for 15. I did have these in my closet for a while, uh, but I still thought that $15 was a really good price to get. And then the last thing that sold is a Lucky Brand crossbody teal geometric purse. Hmm, I loved this purse. <laughs> I wish that I kept it, but it wasn't really big enough for all the junk that I carry in my purse. So um, I'm glad that it went to a great home. It sold for $14 and this was part of Closet Clear Out where I dropped the price and Poshmark covered the $1.80 shipping. So I had 12 sales total on Poshmark. I had $177 in sales. Fees is were $40.15. I gave out $12.60 in shipping discounts, which leaves me a total of $124.25 in gross net-ish profit. I don't include my uh, my my cost of goods because they kind of range everywhere. So on average, I usually pay about three to five dollars per item. So you can gauge it from there. And then my average sales price for the 12 items was $14.75. So then we're gonna move on to eBay. Like I said, eBay was a little iffy. Um, so I did run that sale of 20% off for a week. I think I got a few sales from it, but Mm, I'm not sure 
I mean, it was worth it, of course, but it's like usually I get more sales out of my promotions that I run. All right, trying to see where I left off the last time. Okay, so first off, we have a Lauren Ralph Lauren navy blue ribbed Henley top. This was given to me for free. It did have two small, uh, like dark stains on the front, which I did note, and it still sold via promoted listing for $10.50. I believe $10.50 was an offer that I sent to my watchers. Then we have an MSRF Incorporated 2005 Black Scotty Dog Terrier. I called it like a container pitcher, but it could have been a cup with a removable lid. It was really cute. And I knew someone who had a Scottish dog or someone who liked Scotty dogs would purchase it. There were quite a few of them listed on eBay. Um, so this did sit for a while, but it did sell for $11.99. Then we have a Banana Republic Factory Dark Gray Jackson Fit Trouser Pants. These, I believe I picked up when I was in Pennsylvania two times ago, um, visiting family, and I'm pretty sure I picked them up for like a dollar. Um, one place we went to, every yellow tag was a dollar. So these have been in my closet for a while, but they did sell for $15. Then we have a new with tags champion speed knit turquoise freedom sneakers. This was part of a bulk liquidation lot of shoes of target shoes. And this was one sale that came through with my 20% off and they sold for $17 and 51 cents. Then we have a new with tags Angie cold shoulder boho bell sleeve dress. This sold for $13 and I'm laughing because there is a note from the buyer. I guess her daughter picked this out and um, she didn't realize it until she went into her eBay a few days later. And she's like, I'm so sorry for the delay of the payment. I didn't realize my daughter picked this out. And I was like, oh, pff, no problem. The fact that you still wanna buy it for your daughter that you didn't know picked it out. I'm very happy. Thank you so much. <laughs> um, so this sold for $13. This did have one of the straps was broken off. It was new with tags, so I did have to sew that on, which I did note, um, but it's still sold. Then we have a pair of Vince Camuto, Camuto, I'm not sure how to say that either. Gold metallic peep toe Mary Jeans. This Actually, eBay, eBay tells me sold with save up to 20% promotion. So this was one of those items. And they sold for $22.39. Then we have an Urban Expressions Vegan Teal Turquoise Studded Crossbody Purse Clutch. <laughs> um, the, the straps are removable, so you could turn it into a clutch if you wanted to and it sold for $18 and the lady um, did leave me a positive feedback and she said she loves it, it's her favorite color, me too. And she was really happy to receive it. And then we have a lot of Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Concealer. This was in shade Deep, number 50, and this sold for $7.50. Then we have a new in bag, Carriza Designs, Oh, I thought that it was a blueprint, but it was actually the pink print. Mm, whoops. Um, I do have a blueprint dress and a uh, pink, pink, that's really hard to say. I have a blue and a pink dress. Basically, that's the same style, um, different print on it. And I obviously didn't change my title when I did sell similar. However, I did send her the right dress. <laughs> so it is the pink dress. It's a double ring scarf convertible dress. So you can take the straps and you can wear it strapless. You can wear it as a halter. You can wear it as a belt. You can like you, I looked up the video on this thing and you could wear a dress or this scarf thing like 30 different ways. And the even cooler thing is that it went to Hawaii. Wouldn't that be perfect in Hawaii? It's like the perfect dress for that. So that sold for $19. Then we have a Nash Villain or Villain, Nash Villian, not sure either, uh, Guitar Pick Graphic Tee. So this I found at a Salvation Army and I picked it up because it felt really nice. It had a nice soft feeling fabric 
and I actually went to their website and this shirt was sold out. Um, so I listed it rather high. I think I listed it at like $25 and someone sent me an offer for 16 and I did accept. Then we have a uh, pair of born teal and lace teal, sorry, teal and tan lace up Oxford bowler style shoes. I originally thought that these were a men's shoes because the Oxford style just looked like a men's. So I listed them at men's. And then I came across another photo of them and someone listed them at women's as women's. So I did a little bit more research and I tried them on because they're an eight and a half and I wear a seven and a half and I figured they almost fit me with a little bit of wiggle room. So I did relist them as a women's style shoes and they sold for $28. There were a little bit of condition issues on the, you know, the heels and the toes, the normal places, but they were still in great condition otherwise. Then we have a Banana Republic Men's Blue Slub Henley made of extra fine merino wool. This was given to me for free. I did, however, accidentally wash it and I wasn't supposed to and I washed it with fabric softener. So it did kind of stretch out the fabric a little bit. Um, I did not dry it. I, as soon as I pulled it out and I felt it, I was like, oh, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Um, however, it still had the soft feeling to it even after it dried. Um, so it did sell for $14.99. I probably could have gotten more if I didn't wash it, but that's okay. We live and we learn. Then we have a lot of two Da Bomb Groovy Blast bath bombs. These had surprises inside of them. Not sure what kind of surprises. I haven't used one myself. Um, but this sold in a lot for $10. Then we have more bath bombs. These are bath, uh, me, exclamation point, bath lavender lullaby bombs. And they sold for $9.99. The one of the last liquidation lots that I got of Health and Beauty, I got a million bath bombs. So I, I'm just getting around now to listing them and they're perfect for Christmas gifts. Then we have a Sonoma yellow teal blue floral short sleeves um, shirt, sorry. And I knew that this wouldn't go for much because it's Sonoma and you can get really good deals at Kohl's. Um, however, it was unique with the floral color and it was a really comfortable fab, uh, modal fabric, cotton modal, modal. I'm not sure how to say that either. I'm saying that a lot. I don't know how to say anything apparently. <laughs> um, and it sold for $7.99. Then we have a new with tags, American Eagle Outfitters, pink strappy crisscross sweater tank top. This sold for $14, and I'm honestly surprised it didn't sell faster. I believe I purchased this in June. I listed it pretty soon after that, maybe because summer, well, it wasn't halfway through. I'm not sure. It was new with tags. It was beautiful. It was a size large, um, but finally, it did sell through promoted listings for $14. We have two more sales. Mm, I wish we had more. That's right, I'm very blessed for every sale that I get. Very thankful. Next up is a new with tags, Rachel Roy, Rachel, Rachel Roy, black faux leather uh, fabric combo ankle pants. These were size 3X and they sold for $29.99. I believe that this was a full price sale. Hmm. I'm actually not sure, but um, I know that they retailed for over 60 or $70, so. And then last but not least is part of my return, customer return liquidation lot, I'm still going through those items, was a Threshold White Farah Light Filtering One Panel Curtain, 54 by 84 inches. This did have one tiny little surface scratch, not scratch, but like dirt on it. I did notate that and it still sold for $8. So, on eBay, we had 18 sales total. I made $273.85. eBay fees only were $36.11. And as a reminder, if you're just tuning into these videos, I do not include my PayPal fees because what I charge for shipping, I typically make up in those fees. Uh, so I only include eBay fees for now. Um, which gives me a grand total of $237.74.
making my grand total for November 16th through the 30th of $483.85 in sales. I paid $92.16 in fees and I did include the Poshmark shipping discounts and that total as well, giving me a total for the two weeks of $391.09. So not my best two weeks, but I needed to go on vacation <laughs> and so I'm okay with that. I really enjoy having a business that I can work you know, basically wherever and whenever I want to. And it all depends on how much you put into it. And it shows in these two weeks. I wanted to have fun, so I didn't make as many sales. But I have seen that um, December is picking up in sales, especially on Mercari. So if you're not listing on Mercari, I highly suggest that you should, especially gift ideas. Um, people who sell their items on Mercari are looking to use the balance that they have. Um, so list those electronics, list those home goods, anything that would be like a cute gift idea. And that's my advice for the holiday season. All right. Thank you so much for joining. If you liked what you saw, please give me a thumbs up. Also, I would really enjoy it if you subscribe to my channel. Um, I'm up to 40 plus. So thank you so much to everyone who has subscribed. I greatly appreciate it. And if you want to get notified when I put out new videos, make sure to hit the bell button. I try to do so at least once a week. And that's all I have for today. All right. Thank you so much. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.